It is a thrill to be joined by Mark Andre Fleury, Flower, a former teammate of Ruffers. We've all heard so many great stories about you because of Ruffer, so much so that my wife in her closet has this shirt of Mark Andre <laughs> Fleury, which is a bit much because we live in New York. We're nowhere near Pittsburgh or Las Vegas. But I understand that your wife has had you busy doing do it yourself projects during the pause. Please tell us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a few little things. I feel like during the season, you always put things uh, farther down the line a bit, right? We're always busy, but um, now the baby was crawling quicker and stuff, so we had to put the baby gates around the stairs and uh, a couple of lights, you know, had to be fixed. And uh, I don't know, whatever I, I can find to stay busy a bit. Flower, the, I want to ask you because I've got, I've got two daughters, and you've got three, right? Three yeah. daughters now? You got no, three I'm sorry. What you got? You got two and one? Yeah. Two girls two and, and boys. I baby. apologize. All right. So you, you with the girls though, are you let us in? Like what are you dressing up with them? Are you playing dress like <laughs> I know how it is when you get time and you get that downtime <laughs> right now. You've got to have something. What is what is the what is the thing that you've done with, with the girls over this time, spending time together that would just blow our mind? Uh, I think the one thing that took a lot of time was uh, school homework. Uh, homeschooling is not easy. <laughs> to my wife, does most of it, you know, but it takes a good chunk of the day. And um, I think now it's we've been on the bicycle pretty much every day. It's been so nice in Vegas, and um, so now the, uh, the oldest can pedal without their training wheel. So that's that was a big uh, big thing for her. And um, I put a trampoline together. So then we've been jumping on there. I feel like we've just been trying to stay active, trying to go outside, you know, and, uh, and play dress up once in a while, I guess. Flower, was we were in your trampoline? barn. Oh, sorry, Rupper. No, I was going to say the trampoline might be more for you, though. I don't know. Is that your yeah. passion? <laughs> it is. You put a little basketball net in there, you know, so you jump around and throw the ball around. So, yeah, nice. it keeps it fun. Yeah. So, Flower, Brian Lawton and I were with this whole crew doing the USA hockey 40 year anniversary of the miracle on ice. We go inside T-Mobile arena and we miss security. So security has to come get us and clear us as we're walking with them. One security guard says, boy, you two are nice, but the nicest person I've met in all the time I've worked here is Mark Andre Fleury. And we were like, wow, that's awesome. And then she said the meanest, and I won't say the name, but it rhymes with Barbara Streisand. Wow, it's blowing me away. <laughs> when you walk around Vegas and you understand the passion there, people talk about non-traditional markets. To me, it's just about passion. That place loves you guys. How much fun is it to play for the Vegas Golden Knights? Yeah, uh, I feel very lucky. You know, I was in Pittsburgh for so long, and uh, it was tough to leave. You know, but then and coming to Vegas, nobody knew what to expect. You know, from the people here and. Uh, it's been nothing from the, nothing but the best since uh, day one, you know. We, we got our practice drink is filled <laughs> pretty much every day. And uh, at the rink, it's always a uh, sellout. And the atmosphere in the building is always awesome, too. People are into it. And walking around town, too, you see a lot of people just saying, hey, never watched hockey before, but a big fan now. And um, you can tell that people are proud of their, of their own team. The, the NHL has done, and you participate in, uh, we're going – by division and those people watching this that haven't seen that yet go to nhl.com you can see by division uh just talking to guys touching base flower you were part of it obviously for the pacific division um i love the question they're asking everybody as far as who do you want to be quarantined with as far as a teammate and um that's been one that the answers have been interesting but i want to ask you to go through a rip of players that i picked and i want to know a positive for you to be quarantined with them and a negative <laughs> so, uh, if we're good to go here if we get to start ripping them I, I i can't see on my screen because i had to switch to my phone uh do we got it up there tone can you can you see it i see flower I, oh yes we're going all right so i've got them written in order here what do you got nate schmidt up here first yep that's right uh, all right, what do we got? What do you got, Nate Schmidt? What's a, what's something that'll be really positive and something that might be annoying after a couple of weeks with Nate Schmidt? 
uh, positive that could be great with the kids is got so much energy, right? All day. And it just, uh, it can play with them like, <laughs> like no others. Uh, so I think you can put them to bed pretty early, tired. So that'd be a very positive. Babysitter. Uh, yeah, very good babysitter, I would say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> negative, he talks a lot. I think after a while, I'm, I'm a pretty quiet guy, so I think after a while, I have to uh, plug my, ear, my ears in because he talks too much. All right, we'll move on to the next one. We got a former teammate of yours, Orps. Brooks or pick. Positive Brooks. and negative. Um, I think positive would be would uh, keep me in shape, right? Because he, he always likes to train and uh, yeah, he's a you, good free. You'd be jacked. You would be. I know so I'll be jacked. By the end of it. <laughs> good, uh, good pipes, right? Afterwards, uh, he eats very <laughs> healthy also, so I think that'll be uh, another good thing. And the uh, bad thing is, uh, I'll probably be too jacked and I won't be able to move. You know, when I start playing hockey, so don't be too All good. Right. And I'll, we'll, we'll try one more here. We got uh, Chris Letang. Yeah. What you uh, got? You're going to speak I, French. That's a positive, yeah, right? That's good. That's good. Uh, that would be nice. So, you know, he's a good friend. We have a lot of things. We like cars. We can chat cars, drive cars around. I think we have uh, the same love for that kind of stuff. And um, I don't know. We get along good, so I think it will be easy. Um, the bad thing might be... Uh, finding too many hairs on the floor all around the, the house, <laughs> having to mop it out, right? All the time. Hey, you know what? I'm, I was asking that, too, because I know you, you've got a, a good, long-standing relationship with him. He was my roommate when we played together in Pitt. And I'll tell you what, this guy, love him to death. He's got – it's his world, and we're all just living in it. He would wake up from his naps. He'd wake up in the morning to an alarm. He'd start playing, like, some house techno music. And then he'd go in the bathroom, <laughs> and he'd leave the music on, on the on the nightstand on his phone and he go take a shower i'm like dude you leave your music on while i'm still sleeping the guy has no no concept oh, uh, yeah hopefully no, you set him uh, straight a bit i know i know but uh how about one more we got how about revo revo um <laughs> I think I'll probably be uh, tasting a little bit of beer. I'm not a big beer guy, right? But I think he would uh, probably force it down my he throat. Provide, cause... He provide the beverages? <laughs> yes, yes, he does. Yeah, he has his own brewery, so I'm sure he'll make me like, like it. What about, um, what about something that would get old? I don't think, I don't know. I'm just being that guy. You might not see, you might not hold the remote the whole time. What are you going to do? If, he's, <laughs> no. if he holds it up That's it. over his head, what are you going to do? <laughs> That's like what you do with kids, right? You're like, oh, come get it, come get it. Right? But I feel like I'll be, <laughs> I'll be the kid now probably. So, yeah, I'll have to outsmart him somehow, lock him in a closet or something to get the remote. But that would be, that would be hard. Good, man. That was, no, that was fun. It was an uh, interesting uh, good group of guys, and uh, I'm sure they yeah. all want to be locked up with you. <laughs> Great answers. Hopefully. That was a great idea, Rupper, and Mark andre Fleury, we're all locked up, obviously, dealing with what we're dealing with. You brought some spirit and some cheer to our day. Thanks so much for doing this. <laughs> no problem. My pleasure. Help you and your family. Thank you. Same to you guys. Stay safe. Yes, take care, Likewise. buddy. All right. Thanks. We'll see you around. Bye. It's been a pleasure here on NHL Tonight. Stay tuned. Social media and everything else, we're going to keep bringing you up to speed. As the league stays on pause, we keep going. Love and hockey.